Now this is episode 4 of the Glade Creek Grist Mill that Dave and Kathy Hyde have commissioned me to draw for them. Now it's taken quite some time to get to the point where we're at now. Now I've had to do a lot of the artwork off camera because it would just take too long. I mean uh, the four episodes to date it's about what an hour or so and that's a combination of about at least 20 hours work maybe even longer than that. I'll have to check my diary. So anyway, if you've been following along, I hope you've been enjoying it. And at least as much as I'm enjoying sharing it with you, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. <laughs> because if you're enjoying it, they're going to enjoy it too. And they'll love you for it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> As you can see, I've done quite a lot off camera, but mostly the foliage, and really this is just the underdrawing. It's just blocked out. It's where, I'm, where I want to place all the trees because you can't really see too much detail in as far as what's behind the, the foliage, you know what I mean? So I've looked at many different photos that I've come across trying to get the best scenes I could get. And for instance, over here, there's rocks in that over there. And in fact, the whole place is, is really, there's rocks everywhere. It's, it's such a beautiful scene. There's so many things that I love to draw. And I keep referring to it as the Grist Mill, but they're all a Grist Mill. Its real name is actually Glade Creek. And this is the Glade Creek Grist Mill. And I'm finding out so much about it. And I know I mentioned it last time about how it's not actually the original mill, it's, it's, it's a replica. And I've viewed different pictures, you know, different times of the year, in the winter when it's been snowed all, snow all around. And like, no matter what time of the year you look at it, it's beautiful. I mean, in the fall, you got all the different golden colours, which of course, you know, being a, a grayscale drawing, we're not going to be able to see that. So I've got to try and make it as attractive, as beautiful as I can, just using a pencil. <laughs> And that's, that's what I love about it actually, the, the challenge. I've been reading little bits and pieces on the different part, on the different websites and, and in the fall season there's, a, there's a, a piece that I really thought was, oh you know, really relevant or, or pertinent to, to the actual drawing or the actual scene more so. And, and during the fall season the Grist Mills placements among Glade Creek's boulders has a backdrop that would make Bob Ross have no reason to add another happy little tree. <laughs> and I, I started doing these little bits and pieces before I read that, and it was just so relevant, you know, to what I'm actually drawing here. You know, it is beautiful. But you know, the fact that some people have, have understood or realised the, the value or, or, the, or just how important it is that these places aren't lost. It's, just, it's so much how I feel about the images around around where I live. Well, not the images, but the structures and the old buildings, because they're important. They're part of the area's history. And what they've done here is in, I think it was 1976, they got parts from all these other old mills in the area and decided to rebuild a replica um, of the Glade Creek Grist Mill. And they got parts from the Stony Creek Grist Mill that was on the located in the Pocahontas uh, County, and just looking on the, on the on their website there, the actual wheel itself um, came from Spring Run Grist Mill, and that's in Grant County. Other parts came from all different parts around. You know, there were different mills that were no longer in use, and one of the other areas was the Roaring Creek Grist Mill, which was near uh, Seneca Rock. So I don't know whether you're familiar with these places. I'm obviously not. But it just shows you the enthusiasm and, and the determination by people to, to, to keep a part of our history or of their history and just how important it really is. So I'm going to leave that area for now. That is the underdrawing, so there's going to be a lot of detail to go into this. So I'm going to come back to all that. And, and every time I look at it, I see something different, which is great. So I thought today, I'm just going to work on just coming forward a bit 
I put in a few stones in here. Well, I say stones, but they're the stones that made up, you know, the foundation. So I don't know if the stones are local. I'm assuming that they've come from around here because, I mean, it is Stony Creek. But anyway, I just want to fill these in, block these in. There's a lot of detail in here too, so I don't want to slow things down and, and put in too much. It's really just getting the underdrawing done. One, it's a little bit tricky trying to talk and concentrate on what I'm doing. And that's why I've done so much off camera. I mean, there's hours going into doing this. But at the same time, I still want to be able to draw it on camera and show you, you know, how I go about doing it. But the tedious bits, you know, I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch that. It's a bit like when I used to play in bands and that. You go to a show or people would come and watch us playing. But what they don't see is the hours and hours of rehearsal, the days, the weeks, sometimes months of rehearsal, especially when you're starting out, that actually goes into a, you know, a two hour show for example. And it's a little bit the same with art when you're drawing something. So you don't want to see all that, I'm sure you don't. You don't want to see the bits I have to rub out and start again, because that happens. I'm not happy with that bit there, so I'll take it out. I had put quite a bit of foliage in here, and it wasn't until I came across another photo, and oh, those rocks are going to go in. But anyway, Dave and Kathy, they're not in any hurry, tell me, so that's great. Probably just a little bit all over the place, but I just want to get, as I say, I just want to get things where they should be, or where I think they should be, where I'm happy with them. So it's getting close to that time once again, where I time to stop talking, depending on what part of the world you're in. Grab a glass or a cup of your favourite drink, put your feet up, relax, think about the wonderful weekend ahead. Listen to some relaxing sounds, and I'll see you in a few minutes.
as you can see, I've virtually done all of the under drawing. Now I've put the fence in. Dave and Kathy are going to be going over here now. I purposely haven't started them yet. I want to sort of wait till I've got this done because I don't want to be doing too much smudging. So once I start getting into the detail of doing the portraits, I don't want to be dragging any of this over them. So virtually now, as far as the under drawing goes, there we go, we're done. In the next video, what I'm going to be doing is coming back in and just doing more of the detail. Honestly, there's just too much to film everything. It would like I spent the last oh, I've been I've, I've been away from YouTube for the last couple of weeks, but I've been working on this, and it's quite a big undertaking to actually try and film it all and draw it at the same time. Well, for me anyway. So we'll leave it there for now, and I will come back. I don't think we'll finish it next time, but we'll, get, we'll try and get all the underdrawing done, the detail done. It's very hard like trying to edit, you know, like say eight or nine hours of work down to ten minutes. So that's the problem I have. So a lot of it I have filmed off camera for that reason. Well that's about it for this week so I hope you're enjoying it. I'm really enjoying doing it. It is a challenge but I'm loving every minute of it. So if you like what you're seeing so far give me a thumbs up Leave a comment, share it with your friends, and if you feel like subscribing, it's free today.